How are you doing, soldier? I see that you have a, a spear in your stomach. That looks pretty bad. Um, as Romans, um, we are pioneering the, um, you know, on-field soldier, you know, on-field surgery for soldier, for wounded soldiers. And um, we are, you know, at the forefront of medicine when it comes to surgeries and cesarean sections and, you know, all that good stuff. However, considering how women don't get educated, I'm not going to be able to help you all that much. But what we can do is a cranial nerve exam. That way I can make sure that you're still conscious and not losing too much blood. If you end up failing one of my tests during this exam, then obviously I'm going to have to, you know, just walk away. Because really, we're in the middle of a war. Like, what can I do? Just, just pray to whatever the equivalent of Hades or Zeus is. Oh, wait, Jupiter. Jupiter or... Which one's Hades? Pluto, I think? Yes, Pluto. Yeah. Pray to Jupiter or Pluto. I'm sure the planets will answer you. Anyways. Now. What? I ha Let me help you. Let me help you. Uh, let's come on now. You want some conversation now, some friendly conversation with that spear in your stomach. It can distract you from the pain of being impaled. Now. Well, maybe if women were allowed to get educated, I would help you a little more. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? And considering how you're a Roman, it might be literal. Anyways, let's start off. I'm going to be using my fingers. I'm going to be holding two of them up. And you're simply going to tell me which one I'm wiggling, okay? Now keep your keep your eyes open. Stop being, stop being so sassy with me. Keep your fingers on my... Keep your eyes on my fingers. And tell me which one is wiggling. Okay, so. Excellent. Okay. 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 Alright. Alright. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I wouldn't touch the spear if I were you. If you keep moving it, it's going to cause more of a hole and more blood is going to start coming out and you're just going to start bleeding to death. So especially don't take it out. Like really don't take it out. Like it might hurt, but don't take it out because otherwise that's going to hurt even more and you're going to bleed out and you're going to die. So keeping it in is basically your best bet at the moment. Now, for the next test, I'm going to be... I'm going to be moving my fingers around, and you simply follow- Actually, I'm going to be moving one finger around, okay? I'm going to be moving one finger around, and you simply tell me um, if you can see it anymore. Or actually, no, follow it with your eyes. Just follow it with your eyes. But come on out. We're just, we're just chillaxing. Come on. I just want to make sure that you're conscious, that you're not losing your ocular skills, that you're, you know, not going brain dead on me because of all the blood, you know, that you're losing. Anyways. Just keep calm. Keep just relax, man. Just relax. The more you get stressed out and the more you start freaking out and whatnot, the more blood you're gonna lose because your heart keeps pumping more blood and it's overworking itself. And it's like, haven't you realized that there's a a leakage? But um, the heart doesn't think that way. It's stupid. Unlike the Egy ancient Egyptians and their thoughts that both thoughts and love and everything was in the heart, it's in the brain. Like the brain is the one telling you stop it, but it's not the one pumping the blood, so it's not like it can stop it itself. Anyways, pull my finger. So, we're gonna start now. So, just follow it around. Just using your eyes, don't move your head. And stop moving. No matter how hard you try to attack me, you know you can't. Because I'm not the one with the spear in her stomach. Once more, sucks to suck. And considering how you're a Roman, as I already said, you could take that literally. Just follow my finger with your eyes. Just relax. This is all for your relaxation, so that way you don't keep losing blood. You've obviously been praying to the god of Mars or something because you're really angry. Just calm down. Relax. No one's gonna re-stab you. They know that you're basically a goner. They won't waste their ammo on you, or their energy. 
And considering how women are worthless, in the eyes of this culture, no one's gonna try and attack me either. For the same reason that they wouldn't attack you. It's a waste, I guess. Okay. Alright. Great job. Now, um, tell me for the next test. I'm going to be moving my fingers again. Because, you know, I do not, I'm not equipped with any tools that we can use. Any medical tools that we can use. Because, once more, women aren't trusted with anything in this culture. Because Aristotle basically screwed that opportunity for us. Anyways, I'm going to be moving my fingers like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or like this. And you simply tell me when you can no longer see it, hence your peripheral vision. If you can't see it, it's not because you're blacking out and dying. It's just because, you know, you can't see it. You, It's too far out from your, um, for your eyes to see, basically. So, I'm going to be moving my fingers close. And you simply tell me when you can't see them anymore, starting now. Great. Okay. Great. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Slow down. Okay. 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 You're doing excellent. Although, truth be told, while I was, you know, moving around and saying okay over and over and over again, it kind of sounded like I was saying gay, and uh, considering how you're a Roman, it, it's kind of applicable. Anyways, next step. Um, what else should I do with my digits? Um, okay, I'm just gonna touch your face. Just let me touch your face. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, come on now. I'm probably gonna be the last person you see, so let's let's not be so hysterical when it comes to, you know, invading each other's personal space. Because frankly, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be the last person you see. So I'm gonna be touching your face. Boop. Did you feel that? Okay. Boop. Boop. Just tell me you can't feel it because it might be that your blood is running out of your face that's making it numb. So that might be the reason why you can't feel it. But if you're feeling it right now, you still have a good amount of blood still in your system to drain out. Boop. 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 I don't know what I'm doing anymore. In all honesty, I just came... I mean, what am I doing in the middle of war on a battlefront? Just cruising around. Like, honestly, I'm just, I just live for the rush. I live for adrenaline. That's why I'm just taking my morning walk through a battlefield filled with corpses, dying men, and a still raging war. Now, don't question me. Step on. The guy 
was a great guy. Let's, let's be honest. Let's just put that word into your skin before you die. That way you can have a little bit of greatness and glory and whatnot that you were trying to come after for in this battlefield but clearly failed at. Alexander the Great. 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 Socrates. 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 I recognize that these are all Grushin men even though... No. Alexander the Great... He was Macedonian, right? Like, here, let me just adjust you for a little while. There you go. You're adjusted. But I think Alexander the Great was Macedonian. Because, I mean, the Ptolemies, they're Macedonian. That would, be, that would mean Cleopatra. Cleopatra's a Macedonian. I mean, she's technically Egyptian, but let's be honest, she's, like, Italian. She's really Italian. Um, and I, she descended from Alexander the Great, I believe, or someone who worked with Alexander the Great. No, she didn't descend from Alexander the Great. I don't think he had any children. I don't think he even, did he have a wife? I think if he did, it, she was kind of in the background considering how, you know, there's always been rumors that he had a, you know, his best friend was his lover. But, um, Cleopatra was Macedonian. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, Gresham. Yeah, Macedonian. Anyways, Socrates was Gresham though. He was Gresham. Gresham might, might as well just be synonymous, or rather, ancient Greece must be synonymous with gr greatness. That's why they both start with G's and R's and E's. Yeah. Socrates. 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 Boy or girl, first child I have, whether it be naturally or via cesarean section, C section, which is a possibility now with our medical advancements within the Roman. Empire. I'm going to name them Socrates, boy or girl. That's their name, Socrates. Naming them after a great man. And if their teachers don't know who Socrates is or what that's in reference of, I immediately know which one I want to get fired. Like, if you don't know who Socrates is and you're supposedly a teacher, get out of the get out of the Lyceum. You're, you're done. You're done. Like, no, no, you're not teaching my child. Anyways, Socrates, Socrates. Okay. So, did you feel the greatness of those names in your skin? Your, st your face is starting to get numb. Now, for the next test, I'm going to be testing your, um, what's it called? Your olfactory nerves. Yeah, olfactory nerves. Um, I don't really have anything to... Uh, here, 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 here. I have an idea. I'm simply gonna be... Excuse me for a second. I'm simply gonna just dip my finger in your blood. Or in your wound, which is bloody. And, uh, what does this smell like? Just smell your own blood. Just smell it. Like, can you smell your own blood? What does it smell like? It smells metallic? That's a good enough answer. Let me simply wash my hands of your blood. Pontius Pilate, let me just wash my hands of your blood. <laughs> Last words to Christ. Anyways, oh man. My hands are all bloody with your blood. Same way as Pontius Pilate. No, you can't, man. You can't. It was your fault. He was all like, do you want Barnabas? I was, I was even there. I was there. I was like, this guy, this is just a lose-lose situation for everyone here. He was like, do you guys want Christ or... Or this, you know, ex-murderer Barnabas to go free. And everyone was like, the ex-murderer! And I was like, what is wrong with all of you You want the ex-murderer to go f What has the other guy ever- What has he ever done? Other than simply say, hey, look, I'm the king, okay? Rec I mean, you might as well just throw- I- I don't know. Who, who else? I mean- they never threw, what's that guy's name? Nero, I guess. I think it Nero. Or was it, um... Oh, I forgot his name. Ka... Ah! He was like this psycho Roman emperor. They never threw him in jail. 
and yet they were willing to get an axe murder. I was there, man. I was there, and I was like, what? What? But since women can't vote, we were just kind of shooed off and, you know, by everyone there. Anyways, that's in the past. So, let me simply wipe my your blood off my hands. And I'm trying to think what else we should do. Should I make you taste your own blood just to test? No. Okay. Okay, I won't do that one to you. I won't do that one to you. But then again, it would be kind of practical because you're ingesting the blood that you're losing. So wouldn't that... I'm telling you, I didn't get educated. I mean, women were kept as far away from schools as possible. So what else should, should we do? Shall we do those finger tests again? That was fun. Okay. I'm gonna test your... I'm gonna do the finger tests again. Um, which one should I do? I'm gonna be going like this and you simply tell me if you can note that it's coming closer to you or coming further away if you can't that would be problematic because that means you're kind of losing visual and whatnot and you can't really see and that means you're losing blood and uh, you know the blood is running away from your eyes and you're basically dying and um, no one really is going to care once again but you know you would care and i would assume that Im that is important to you so just look at my finger and tell me if it's coming closer to you. Okay. And then is it going further away? Okay. So from now on, simply tell me when it's coming closer to you or when it's coming further away. Like, what's the standing point? So you can notice the change in perceptions when it comes to distance. Now, last test. I'm going to be doing my favorite finger test again. And that's going to be the, um, which one's my favorite? The following, following the finger thing. So once more, just look at my finger and just follow it with only your eyes, not your head. So, let's go. Just follow my finger with your eyes, not your head. You're losing sight? Oh well. It was gonna happen sooner or later. We both knew it. Just accept death. Death will accept you. It accepts everyone. Why can't you accept death? I know. I'm borderline sociopathic. Who takes a morning walk through a battlefield? Isn't that kind of obvious? Anyways, just accept death in all its glorious form. I mean, you're gonna still look ugly and decompose and rot away with inside. I mean, this isn't Egyptian times anymore. People don't just mummify you and, you know, preserve your body. No one cares. You're just burned now. Like, bye. You serve no purpose anymore. Bye. There we go. Just think of a friend as a long-lost friend. Or rather, death as a long-lost friend. And just think of it accepting you into its arms. Why won't you accept it? Is it because it's changed so much? Or do you fear death? No, you shouldn't, because death wants to accept you.